Hanging silently in space, the world in the shadow of the blue star was once a lonely, barren place, unfit for habitation. However, Althena took pity on that world and transformed it into a place of beauty and wonder. She called the new world Lunar. Time and circumstance conspired to force Althena to populate Lunar with people from the Blue Star, and, just as on the world from which they came, life was held in a delicate balance. Through times of peace, war, chaos, and battle, the Blue Star loomed as the only constant in the new world. Thousands of years passed, burying the origin and purpose of the Blue Star in the sands of time. Eventually, inhabitants of Lunar forgot why the Blue Star was there or how it came to be, until a girl awakened that could join the two worlds, or tear them apart forever.
This is not the time for my awakening. Ruby, did you say something? Ha! Oh, great! Don't tell me you're hearing voices now. I'm sure I heard something. I should have brought Grandpa's chisel. This is way harder than I thought. Ugh. Hurry up and get the dragon's eye. The timer's almost run out on the trap. Trap? What trap? Certainly. I am White Knight Leo, leader of Althena's Guard, and this is the Dragon Ship Destiny. Now then, listen up. You kids need to evacuate this area. I don't want to see any civilians accidentally caught in the middle of this thing. Return to your home immediately. Move it! My name is Lucia. I have come from the Blue Star on an urgent mission. Your world is in grave danger. I must see Athena immediately. Take me to her. D do you think she's friendly? She looks like she could be some sort of goddess or something. What are we gonna do, hero? 
Ruby the hero. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Is this Alfina's world? I do not sense the aura of her magic power. But then, perhaps the evil hides it from my sight. What do you want with this Ronfar guy anyway? You know, he's kind of a deadbeat. Huh, I can't believe he was ever a priest for Althena. But I'll tell you where your guy is if you beat me in a game. Because the only truth I've ever found lies right here. In these! It's so strange. I did not know humans possess such wondrous powers. That shouldn't be possible, unless Althena was the source. <sighs> what a strange world I've come to. Its beauty is unsurpassed, and yet it remains filled with such mystery and emotion. Why is the flower so soft, and the snake so deadly? Why do some love, and others hate? Is this land of contrast the one that Athena created? The land that so far rises to... Lucia? Hero, I must go now. I will never forget you. Before. Are you visiting? Well, my name is Jean. I'm the star dancer. Too bad. Are your suckers for sale? 
<laughs> Do you think this is really my color? No, we were just joking. Fortunately, I now have a chance to surpass it. The world will once again be mine on a delicious half-shell. And you can't stop me, Lucia. Put me down this instant! Who do you think you are? Aha! Gotcha, you little twerp! My name is Nall. What are you doing on my property? I don't welcome trespassers, so you'd better have a good story. Almost to Pentagulia, Lucia. After everything we've been through, the end is finally in sight. Once we're there, you can meet with the goddess Alfina and your mission will be complete. But why do you seem so sad? This is what you've wanted all along. You should be happy. You don't understand anything. Uh-huh. Hero, you don't even have a glimpse of what's really at stake here. But, Lucia... I came from the Blue Star to find Althena. That's my only mission. Zophar must not be allowed to return to full power. His evil will destroy this world. We must find a way to prevent his return. Even if it... No. I came to this world to stop Zophar from reviving at any cost. 
Hero, the only hope for blocking his power at this point is to seek help from Althena. Once that is accomplished, my mission here will finally be complete. Then, won't everything be okay? But... but then... Lucia? This is all so confusing. I can't stop thinking about what will happen if... Oh, what's happening to me? Why does my heart feel so heavy and my mind spin with possibilities? Why can't I accomplish the tasks I've set out to do? Lucia, I just... I... I don't understand. Oh, hero! You can't possibly understand! Just leave me alone! <laughs> Welcome to Pentagulia. I'm impressed with your cunning and resolve. Unfortunately, the sands have nearly run from the hourglass. Ah, Lucia from the Blue Star. I know you have traveled very far to visit me. Your journey was difficult, more than it had to be. Accept my apology, as I welcome you to Pentagulia. Speak up, my dear. You! You are not Athena! Who are you? Once I tried to bury the past, but it will not be buried. The knowledge haunts me. I will deny it no more. And so it has come to this. I must now embrace what I once despised. The time has come to put aside the mask I have chosen to wear. I'm finished running away. This is my destiny. So far, the god of destruction and darkness came to the blue star. He preyed on mankind's greed for wealth and power, creating anarchy and chaos where there once was peace and love. Mankind fought one another with furious anger, spilling the blood of others without thought of consequence. 
feeding on the dark desire within the hearts of humans, Zophar's power grew exponentially. He used that power to pervert mankind further. Humans, wild with bloodlust, were transformed into hideous beasts. Zophar's tribulation implored Althena to rescue them. <laughs> the terrible battle with Zophar raged on. As the people of the Blue Star cried out for solace. was not lost. A gleaming sanctuary loomed large in the sky. The once dead world of Lunar was transformed into a thriving land of wonder. Althena moved the surviving humans there to live in peace, while the Blue Star recovered from Zophar's assault. Althena had left the Blue Star to safeguard the humans, while I... Lucia, the goddess Althena does not exist any longer in this world. Let me explain so that you will understand. My task as Althena was to lead the humans and control the power of the Silver Star, so that one day, when the Blue Star was reborn, the humans could return and we could begin anew. However, Lucia, I came to know that while I existed, the humans were not truly happy. They lacked a sense of self-reliance, a sense of pride in their accomplishments. They had become too dependent on me. When I last came to this world in human form, something quite marvelous happened. I returned to this world, as I had many times previously, However, this time, I was born into the form of a girl named Luna. As Luna, I grew and fell in love with a dragon master named Alex. It was to be my final rebirth. Ah, you see, I chose to remain a human, surrendering my immortality for love. And now, Lucia, you have come seeking my aid, and yet I no longer exist. But what you must know is that you hold the power to accomplish your mission. It has been near you since you arrived. Humans possess the remarkable ability to rise up in adversity and overcome obstacles to make the future bright for their offspring. Lucia, you have never been alone in this journey. To reach this tower, I know that you must have had the help of many good friends. If you trust what you felt in this journey, and also 
in the power of the companions who've stood at your side. Then, you need only to believe in the power of humanity to gain it. If that power becomes yours, you shall achieve the one thing Zolfar fears most. Victory. Destroy me with Alvina 
his power and decimate this miserable world in the process. Lucian never told me that. He must be lying. <laughs> understand anything. Alfina's power is the power of creation. There can be no new creation without destroying the old. Unleashing Alfina's power on me will reduce this world to ash. Just like the blue star. Alfina didn't do that. You're lying! You only wish I was lying. Then it would make it easier to delude yourself into believing in a happy ending. Huh? So far, it was the only way to stop you from destroying everything! You're evil. It had permeated every corner of the Blue Star. No! 
hero. Now that you've failed in every possible way, the whole world awaits execution at Zophar's hands. But that's too good for you. You're not worthy to live for Zophar's judgment. Peer into the eyes of your executioner, hero! Are you watching in secret, Dine? These children shine with your light. During our fight with Sofar, he said one thing that was very true. 
He said that I couldn't believe, that I was incapable of believing in the power of humanity. And so, Hero, I could not believe in you. No! Lucia, what are you doing? When I came to this world, I did not even know the meaning of humanity's power. So how could I believe? But you changed all that, Hero. You showed me the power of your inner strength and made me believe. I returned to the blue star far richer than when I left. For you see, I now know that one day, when it is restored, I can safely entrust it to humans who will care for it as tirelessly as you have cared for Lunar. And Hero, I know that day will eventually come. Because I hold the most miraculous power of all in my heart. The power of love. Come back! Lucia! understand why but I don't hero I must go back the blue star needs me goodbye hero I'll always love you Of true love story. 
Hero, the time is now at hand for us to part ways, but this time we do so as friends. I shall wander this land in search of my true destiny, while you seek yours with Lucia on the Blue Star. Well, good luck. Until now, I thought I was the biggest gambler on Lunar, but it's you. I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. 
So I'm betting it all on you. Well, that's my pep talk. See you, Chief. Carol, this is so very dangerous. I wish you could stay here with me, but I guess that wouldn't really be fair to Lucia or you. But, but then, your leaving really isn't fair to me either. <laughs> Some of what Ruby says is really true, you know, Hero. But then I... I'm sure you'll make it back to Lucia just fine. I have faith that you can do what you dream. So get out of here before I cry. Go. I mean it. Oh, I'm really mega bad at saying goodbye like this. But this isn't like a final forever goodbye, is it? You're just going out to pick up a friend. Oh, oh my kitty. <sighs> Hurry back, hero.